Hey guys, it's Bear now. Welcome back to Pokemon Blue. In the last part, Route 13. Oh my gosh. And in this part, you may be wondering, why are we in Celadon? Aren't we in Route 13? And yeah, you may be wondering, yeah. Well, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going head this way. I'm going to head this way. I've got, uh, Birdo instead of, uh, Mupi, because Mupi's pretty much done what I need him to do. Uh, you can get Dodgeo here, by the way, if you're wondering. This guy's just like, how'd you get him? Good effort. Because that's a back way, but it's not exactly a back path. Like, 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 you can't head south from here, but technically, if you have cut, you can get this right away, and I don't know why I never got this. Because you know what this person does? She gives you HMO2. You know what HMO2 does? You can fly to any town you've been to. It will make my life a lot easier. Um, so you know what? I'm gonna use the HM, which you can use as many times as you want. I'm gonna use it. I hope I've got the right um, badge for it. I think you only need a million badge. Uh, what won't I need? You know, to be honest, I'm not gonna need Peck if I've got Drill Peck, so, yep. You know, Fly is a decent flying type attack. It's not as good in every sequel because it hasn't been boosted at all. Yeah, I can fly. You know what this means? I can now go to any city I've been to. And you know, as soon as we get to Fuchsia for the first time, holy snap, it's gonna make my life a lot easier. Anyway, with that, we'll keep heading south, but hey, it's gonna save a bit of time because then I don't need to walk all the way up. I only need to walk all the way down every time I need a heal. Okay, I'll see you kids down there. And we're back. So what does this sign say? Route 14, West of Future City. Well, at least we know where we're going. Uh, so yeah. Thankfully there are no items on this route. Unfortunately... There's trainers. It's not a lot, there's only about five, I think. Six, I think? Wait, hold on, hold on for a moment. Sorry about that. Um, we ride out here because there's more room. Is there more? There's a lot of room on cycling ride. We haven't gone there yet, but trust me, there's a lot of room. He's a biker! Biker! Speed V. Ah, uh, quick attack. I would like Speed V to just get all the experience right now. Uh, I also don't have Mookie on my team right now because I think he's gonna need cut a bit later. So, no ducks right now. Well, well ducks is on my team right now. Bet you I'm poison. Yep. 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 You know, he couldn't go. Couldn't go one battle without getting poisoned, could you? Oh my gosh. Whoop, well, Grabo, it's your time to shine again and again. Gosh. Seriously, how many times is he gonna get poisoned? And getting critted? And all that stuff. Well, anyway, he's got Muck. Have you seen Muck before? Yeah, we have. We have seen Muck. That's a Muck. I don't know why I'm still using Speed Depot. Okay. Pound? Interesting attack for a muck. Okay, come on. Come on, Grabo. Grabo, you got this. Yeah, critical. Cool. Oh, of course. Ice grip. Give me magic. That was a critical. That one wasn't. Now, Muck is a lot of health, let me tell you that. Chuck him! Aw, oh, come on, that's, that's disappointing. Oh no, he disabled one of my two moves. It's so annoying when you get disabled and you got like one, one move, it's just like, yeah. So yeah. Oh. Wipe out! <laughs> yeah, sure. One step, new trainer. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? Just, just the one legendary Pokemon? Because there's four of them in this game. Farfetch'd. Oh yeah, this guy. He's got a level 33 Farfetch'd. 
You know what that means? He's easy. Seriously, he's got one Pokemon. And I can deal more damage to it than anything else. Seriously, this is the first time as oh of course no it's true. Okay. Bet she's gonna hit me two more times. Oh, okay. Well, I'm gonna switch out to No gosh. You know, I'd love it if Speed D actually got his type of attack, because it suddenly would be really good. Because not only would he get a stab, he'd also get the fact that um, the fact that his special stat is so high, he would literally be dealing like three times more damage. So that's what the toss would be the best thing right now. Oh, I don't know. Sword Sense. Ooh, Sword Sense increases uh, the attack of your Pokemon, so... Ah, oh, come on! Come on up! You're just gonna keep using Sword Sense, okay. Well, if you say so. There we go, we did it! Why did you lose? Because you have one far-fetched? Yes, we will die. So I may as well head in here. You know what, actually? I'm just gonna fly out. Anyway, I will... See you guys next... By the way, yeah, look at that! That is ridiculous! The cycling road looks really long, but it's actually pretty short in comparison. Because there's nothing along it. Anyway, I'll see you guys in a bit where I'll heal up. And we're back. Oh my gosh. Seriously, walking that whole place just drains you, seriously. There's more trainers, hooray! <laughs> Burn some time, okay, sure. Whatever you say. There's no items on this route, so pretty much just the only need to fight trainers. Uh, that is the only grass on the route, I think. Um, so yeah. Ditto is a bit more common up there, though. So if you want a ditto, then yeah. Oh, but ditto, there is a 20% chance of getting ditto on the next route, so if you want to get ditto, the next route's the best place. Maybe high level, I'm not too sure. I, ne I didn't write down the levels, and I really should. Oh no, he disabled my sand attack. No, my best attack. You can disable twice. To re-enable it. Oh no, he found it. Just keep quick attacking. It's the best strategy. Uh, 540. Yeah, I might, I might level up in this battle. I don't know, actually. For some reason, all these guys are giving experience now. Seriously. All those past battles just, like, gave, like, 300 experience per Pokemon, and now suddenly this is, like, 500? And I don't even know why. I'll talk about how, uh, experience is calculated, uh, per enemy, uh, on the side. Because I seriously need to provide some useful information to make sure that stuff looks interesting. Because, to be honest, I don't blame you if you're getting bored right now. Because this part whew, it's a snoozy. Anyway, speed thunder shock. Just, just the shock. Now you know how long it takes to destroy a coffin. This is the basic attack, by the way. Although it's a crit, so it kind of helps, but... Seriously, that's what I wanted at the end. Or I wanted it now, but, yeah. Oh my goodness, you don't know how long I've wanted that for. Okay, so pretty much now I'm just gonna try and level up Shelda. Clam Clam. Because uh, I need Clam to get up to level 30 just so he learns some good moves before I evolve him. Why'd that guy turn around? Pokemon fight cool Rumble! No, Rumble didn't come out until like 15 years after this. He's the biker! Okay, come on, I'm gonna clamp ya! So yeah, um, now unfortunately... 
Eevee doesn't actually learn Thunderbolt at any stage. In fact, most of Eevee's other moves are pretty sucky. It's not a double kick, but it's a physical attack. In fact, all of its attacks are physical attacks from there on out. So I'm actually tempted to use Thunderbolt uh, to teach him Thunderbolt instead of Thunderbolt. Which is weird, because I'm just like, oh yeah, 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 I'll just wait until it gets Thundershock. And then I'm just like, oh, okay. It sucks. Yeah. Because Thundershock does 40 power and 100 accuracy. So, you know, it always hits. At least, unless there's, uh, there's some kind of effect to lower my... To lower my accuracy or something. And yes, Clank Clank just took out that... I got this. Now I'm gonna switch out. Uh... Snoozu! I choose you, Yuzu! Oh no, my rest! Whatever will I do? I'll just have to hit you in the face with my head. So yeah, so Thundershock does 40 power, 100 accuracy. Thunderbolt does 95 power. 100 accuracy. I mean, sure, it's got less PP. I think Thundershock has 30, whereas Thunderbolt only has 15. But seriously, like, that's... Why? Why? That's, that's completely worth it. Having twice as much power. And trust me, twice as much power, and considering that I took out coughing almost, in like one hit, it's really good. I'm gonna keep Thundershock for now, j just for a bit, because I feel like I'm gonna need it a bit. Clam clam. Uh, we can use grabber. I know, I know it's coughing. I can't do anything about that. I'm just gonna have to seismic toss him. Because this defense is gonna get in the way. Keep seismic tossing. It's the only method. It's so annoying, you think yellow health is halfway, but for some other reason it never seems that way. Oh no, he's got coughing! Whatever will I do? Of course I'm poisoned. Why wouldn't I be? Of course that doesn't kill him. Just why would it? Primer. Uh, I'll get Clam Clam to get the experience, but other than that... Oh my gosh! This root! Seriously, I, it's the worst part of the game, this root. I know it's completely optional, because you could just head down Cycling Road. But, like, this guy's Pokemon at level 26. And the problem is that I just, I had to get a Pokemon at level 15. Like, I think that will turn people off, basically, if you have to get it at level 15 way late in the game. Coffin! Ding. Clam clam. And you may also be wondering why I'm not using Birdo. Well, um, I want to give these guys experience. I know, I know it's a little bit of experience, but trust me, it's, it's a few levels worth of experience, and they're going to need it by the time we get to Sylphco. Also, coughing is really high defense, and that just happened. Okay, well, I'm gonna have to heal again. Oh my gosh, because I know this one will train us. So yeah. Okay, so actually, you know one thing I'm gonna do? I'm gonna use Pokemon. I'm gonna use Ducks. We're gonna head on this top path. 
I think there is a trainer somewhere. But seriously, all the trainers on this last route are all down the bottom, which means if you're coming in from that way, except for that dude, but... But if you're coming in from this way, you can just completely ignore all of them. And, of course, you can get TM20, which I believe is... Wait, hold on, I scroll past it. Uh, it's Rage. Fun fact, I tried Let's Playing Rage. I actually kind of got a bit boring. Uh, Professor Oak's aid is upstairs, by the way. If you have 50 Pokemon caught, you can get yourself and experience all. If it's in your inventory, every single Pokemon in your- Whoa, the game. Every single Pokemon in your party will get that experience as well. Uh, in later games, it was nerfed a bit down to the experience share. We're in Fuchsia City, by the way. Uh, it was nerfed a bit down to the experience share, which meant that if you gave it to a single Pokemon, that one Pokemon would gain half of the experience that you, that, that your main one earned. Uh, and it doesn't detract from anything. Uh, 6th Gen kind of changed that though. They made the experience share a key item that you just turned on and suddenly every Pokemon got experience and there was no downside in using it because it was a key item and also there's no inventory space basically. So anyway, yeah, so I just went over here just because Fuchsia City. And also because, you know, the, the Pokemon Center is really close. Right here. So, yeah. Seriously, Fuchsia City takes forever to get to. That way. Not this way, but... Uh, so yeah, so if you head upstairs, here's Professor Rogue's aid. He's like, hi, remember me Professor Rogue's aid? If you've caught 50 kinds of Pokemon, I'm supposed to give you an experience all. Yeah. I've only caught 19. Which is actually pretty impressive, because I've barely caught any. It's all through evolutions. <coughs> ah. Choking on nothing. Um, uh, and, uh... Other than that... <coughs> yeah, sure, I'll play with you, Pokemon. What Pokemon are they? That's the question. It's a bell sprout! It's level 29. It kinda kicks the butt of my clam clam. Uh, how about. Grabo, because pretty much I'd need to train Grabo, but I also need to train clam clam, but then again, it's just like I can't do much with clam clam. Uh, Vice Grip. It's a bell sprout. I wanna know when. Oh, of course, poison powder! Ugh. There's no chance that poison powder deals poison, it's just like if it hits, then yeah, sure. But it's just like, it's so annoying, you know? Uh, oddish. Seems a bit oddish. <laughs> so yeah. Come on, Clam Clam, you can do it. No, you can't, because it's grass type. Go bug type Pokemon that doesn't learn any bug type moves. By the way, Grabo learns a one hit KO move at level 30. Yeah, he, learn he learns Guillotine, and that immediately kills any Pokemon. It's only got 30 accuracy though. And that's a problem. Every single one hit KO move only has 30 accuracy, so it's a bit eh. Why are you getting crits? Why is that super effective? Now, here's, here's a weird thing about Guillotine. If your speed stat is greater than your opponent, it doesn't hit. I don't know why, but okay. Tangler! Have you seen Tangler? No, I don't think we have. Oh gosh, I gotta keep scrolling up because I'm... Because the... You see them earlier on, and I jump places, and oh my gosh. Uh, we'll go Snoozu. Tangela is a big mass of stuff. Uh, you know, Tangela's got pretty good defense and special, which means he's, he's a good wall, kind of. I contemplated having him in, by the end of the game, but I don't know. Uh, the other uh, problem with Tangela is that he doesn't evolve, so... Yeah, he evolves in a uh, diamond and pearl into Tangrowth. 
but I think that's a trade evolution, so... Eh. Anyway, 540 experience, yeah. He's good for experience. You were too impatient. Okay, so we're gonna heal up and I'll be back. back. See you guys later. And we're back. Still a few trainers to fight. Oh my gosh. Whoa, you can summon a bird Pokemon. In what mode? Defense mode? <laughs> bird Keeper. Actually, I think we already did see Tangwa. Because I'm just looking at it, it's just like, you know that, you know, this is from Erica had a tank. Well, I really should have noted that. Uh, no, you got this. You got this, Clamp Clamp. You got this. You got this. Clamp Clamp. There you go, you did it, Clam Clam! Farfetch, yep, you still got this. Farfetch is so weak. Like, ridiculously weak. That's why I have one. Being lead. Seriously, Clamp Clamp's doing all right. I guess just because I'm constantly using uh, Bind or Bind equivalent. The duo. I got this. I got this. Ah, until he grabs me, yeah, I'm stuck. Get the crits. Clamp Clamp's low, he's not gonna get crits. There goes another Jojo. Hooray for Clam Clam! You know, level up fast when you're only when you're attacking alone. Oh my goodness, Clam Clam! The only problem is that every single other Pokemon is like really high level, so. Clam Clam! Keep going! Keep going, Clam Clam! Putting the Clam in Clam. Wow, that was good. I'm gonna heal up because I just used all of my PP. I just realized I wasn't even flying to that place. To, to the future. I'm just like, yep. My birds are shivering. You're good, aren't you? Well, yeah, I just completely took out that guy with a level 25 shoulder. <laughs> level 25 shoulder. It's level 26 now. Ooh, Dodrio. Have we seen Dodrio? Might be on the other route. I don't think we have, because I just talked about the duo, so... Clamp it! Oh no, it's pecking! Uh, yeah, we haven't seen Dodrio yet. Uh, Dodrio is basically the evolution of Dodrio at level 31. Not much to say. No, it's fast. It's still a pretty good bird type. Flying type. That's what it is. Missing Noah's bird type, I should really know that. It's a clam clam, you just gonna tank this. Clam clam, my goodness. I applaud you, clam clam. You just took out Dodrio. Now, the only problem is that this guy's got Dodrio, so I can't really do that for long. Clam clam doesn't have a lot of HP. His defense is supposed to back that up, but ah, uh, growl. I should really get some fresh waters. That'd be good. Keep rapping. Keep doing it. Uh, yep. Yeah. It's so entertaining if you can pull that off. I'm always about to use Dodrua. Too bad that one never hit me. Seriously. Clamp him. Clamp. 
Plam! Oh no, he hit twice. Quick, keep hitting him. I can hit him more times. No, I didn't. Ooh, this is going to get close. Oh. This is what the super potion's for. I have it there. May as well use it. And you maybe go like to do all these other Pokemon. You just use that and just switch out. Oh, come on. Come on. Oh, no. Now he's going to hit five times. I only hit twice. Three. Clamp. Clamp. Oh my goodness, Clam Clam. You are amazing. You are absolutely amazing, Clam Clam. And the best part is that I, I can just evolve him when I want to at level 30. Uh, there's still three more trainers left, so... You know, I may as well just do it. You live alone? What? How do you live alone? You're so pretty. No, you're not. You, you dropped your ball. Try doing trick shots like that. Bulbasaur? Bulbasaur? At level 29? You are crazy, dear sir. You are absolutely insane. Snoozer, just take him out. Oh, come on! Why does everything have poison powder? We're not even up to the poison gym. Fuchsia gym is poison if you're wondering. We're not even up to the poison gym. Completely. Everyone is just getting poisoned. Oh my gosh! You can put leech seed on top of it, wow. Oh, you even got razor leaf. Too bad you're not Ivy Soul, otherwise that would crit that would kill me. Every time. Some of these guys just aren't that smart. Snoozu! Ivy Soul, there's your Ivy Soul. Uh nah, I'm not gonna switch back. Why are you using Pine Whip? Shouldn't you have Razor Leaf? The Bulbas are at Razor Leaf. Yeah, that's the most annoying part of that Leech Seed, is that it actually carries on. Why are you still using Leech Seed? He's smart. Good old Snoozu. I'm gonna need a heal up, but I'll be right back. And I may as well fly there. To Fuchsia. So I think you have to go inside the city, but you don't have to go inside the the um, Pokemon Center in order to be able to fly to a place. We'll check out Fusion more in detail later. I want to say next part, but I think... Yeah, we'll do next part. Because I don't think Cycling Road should take us too long, because I also want to clear the Cycling Road. Because it's only like two routes, Cycling Road. And it's act there's only like ten trainers, so... Pretty much we can nail him down quick. How I would kill for my running shoes. You just got them in a trade. Gloom, gloom. Interesting how you got gloom. Ah, oh, dang it! I can't keep using. Ah. Uh, that's the problem with grass types is that most of them are poison type, and I don't have a bird on my team. I don't have a flying type on my team. I have one right now. I know, but I want I want the other dudes to get experience. Well, at least I'm paralyzed and not. You know, poisoned. I'm getting hit by acid. Now, come on, crit. Seriously, there's a lot of crits in this game. I think it's because the, the general chance for a crit is 1 in 16 in later games, but in this game, it's like. It's like 3 eighths by default. Or, like. It's whatever your speed, your speed base stat is divided by 512, which, unless if your speed stat is 32 or less, then. You you will be critting more than usual in later games. And I see why, you know, a fast Pokemon will crit more, but it gets insane because you can get stuff where everything crits. 
and that pretty much defies the the fact that you need to you know use like stat raising moves and stuff because you can just keep critting. What's the point? Headbutt that Oddish. That is disappointing. Snoozoo! There you go. Not good enough! <laughs> uh, yep. Oh, still got a few trainers. Fork over all your cash when you lose to me. What? what, what who said something about losing? You, you are the guy who introduced losing to me, therefore you must demonstrate. I, I am a great smooth talker right there. Clam, clam. 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 <laughs> so yeah, so I will evolve Clam Clam at level 30 because he will learn uh, another move at level 30 and I think that's about it. That's all I'll need. Also, you'll see the attack and then you'll be like, oh my goodness. Also, may I just remind you that, uh, that, uh, Shelter is water type, but his evolution cloister is water ice. And that actually means that fire type attacks do normal damage on cloister. Uh, but that being said, it also kind of reduces a few weaknesses. And in fact, besides fire type, it's pretty good. Um,. Why do you keep missing? You just missed twice. Clam. Clam, clam. Oh my goodness, clam, clam. You are the bestest ever. Seriously. Seriously, he's annihilating everyone. Oh. Oh, come on, clam, clam. You are clam, clam. Clam, clam. You can do better than that. Come on. 540. Okay, we're not getting as much experience. Maybe the wheezing will change this. Wheezing! Bet you are poisoned. Oh, no, I didn't. Nah. This is gonna be tricky to win, let me tell you that. Because wheezing's faster than me. I might be able to win this if I get another five. Oh, nope. If this poisons me. That is... Ah, oh, You know what? This is going to kill me. This is going to kill me. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Seriously. You're just going along fine. And then it's just like, up, nope, up, nope, Not going to let you. Seismic toss. Away. And back. Use it again because the animation was so cool the first time. Grabber is now level 29. Ooh. That can't be true. Okay, so I'm gonna have to heal again. Oh my gosh. Seriously, long pause just because I feel like I'm not progressing. Because seriously, it, it has literally taken me. Almost two hours to clear everything out of that, like, series of routes. That being said, that is, like, one of the longest areas of the game, and when you think about it, besides Cycling Road, the only other route, routes in the game are the ones between Pallet and Fuchsia. And there's only about three different routes there. So when you think about it, there's not a lot of... Well, I, I was about to say there's not a lot of trainers left in the game, but you also got the Sylph Tower and you've also... And you've also got a um, self car, sorry. Um, and uh, and also you got to deal with the Pokemon Mansion, and also you got to deal with four gyms and Victory Road. I'm gonna leave four, so there's a bit of game left, but trust me, we are well past the halfway mark by now. All right, come on, la second last dude. Wait, there's, there's two more. Oh my gosh, how I swear I wrote down like eight trainers right here. Oh, okay, he's got five. Yeah, that's fair. That's fair. I, I can fight five. Come on, Clam Clam. We can beat this place. Take out the coughing. You can best the coughing. Come 
on, beat the co oh come on! Come on, why do you keep missing Clam Clam? Why does he keep getting crits? Seriously, you just missed twice, he hasn't even hit you! With any non-attacking attacks. And of course you have to kind of just use 5 PP on a level 25 coffin, and I and of course you get the crit at the end. Oh my gosh. Okay, well, two levels I got to deal with Clam Clam. Because seriously, as soon as that, as soon as that's done, I'm just like stuff and teach him all the great moves in the game. So there's the crit that I expected. Unfortunately, each of the, actually, yeah, because it's a continuation, all of these are crits. That's what I love. Except, yeah, I don't know. It, mean, it means technically, like, if I had a Pokemon that you, say, find, holy snap, there'd be stuff. Like, if I teach Speed V, like, bind, or something like that, I don't know if I can. That means a quarter of the time, all, all the hits are crits, and I was just like, ah. Uh, sludge. Ah, oh, come on. You know, I'm just gonna... I keep getting poisoned, because there's so many poison types here. There's a ridiculous number of poison type Pokemon on this place. And they all know, like, smog and stuff, which has a high chance of poisoning. That gets so annoying, so fast. Sludge. Ah. First time. First time. I'm... Uh, 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 why? <laughs> oh my gosh. I never... I've completely forgotten about how annoying this was. Having to deal with so many poison types. Oh my goodness. Snoozer, just do it. You know what's the worst part? They're either poison types that irritate me so much, or they're grass types that I can't take out! As, as, um, clang clang. And they're all coughings as well, that's the worst- Oh, come on! You just poisoned three of my Pokemon. You know what's the best part? His last Pokemon is a Grimer. Heh <laughs> But seriously! Seriously, I'm actually, I'm actually gonna list on the side how many trainers and how many Pokemon there are in this, like, whole series of routes. Because... It's ridiculous how many there are. I mean, I know, I know you've got, like, a good 25-ish trainers in Silco, but the thing is that, like... I just think like self go at least they're rockets, so all they've got is radicates. A little bit annoying, but and Zubats. Like rockets specifically have weak Pokemon. So that you know they can string up several of them in a row so you can take them out, except the problem with poison types is that like I can't keep fighting with poison types, because unless unless I've got something like rest, I can't take them out. Or unless I got antidotes, but seriously. Seriously, I don't stock up on that many antidotes. It's kind of weird how everything changes color, like even your hat. I don't know. All right, I'll just get back right back there, and almost two bikers, and then two people again. I'm a little cutie. I'm a little cutie. Not a lot cutie, but a little cutie. Adds a beauty. Idiota. Alright. Clam Clam. Clam Clam doesn't seem, doesn't like leveling up. Well, uh, his, um, sorry, he doesn't like raising his health. Oh, come on, crits! Come on, missing! Ah, oh, sand attack, yeah, of course. Yeah, of course. I don't care. I don't even care. Crit. Yep. Oh, you gotta hate some of this. It's just like, yeah. Oh. But I love Pokemon Brew. This is 
a, there's a lot of bad things. Like a lot of bad things. And now he's trying to attack me again. Oh, I need to attack one more. Nope, I'm dead. I can't take out a single Pokemon. But I can take out an entire team. If if I go first. Like that, I don't even know. I think it's just weird design. Okay, so the Pidgeotto's down. I have no clue how much health... Uh, how much experience Clam Clam still needs, but okay. This is the Wigglytuff! We haven't seen Wigglytuff. Wigglytuff is the evolution of Jigglypuff, if you have a Moonstone. Uh, you know, Wigglytuff isn't that bad for a normal type. It's got a lot of height. Uh, it it learns a lot of moves through leveling. Uh, sorry, through GMs. Uh, it's got pretty good HP. Which is a bit of a shame, because I'm going to have to annihilate it by using a really good attack. Woo! But, like, if I use, um... Ooh, if I use, like, Seismic Toss, it's not going to do a lot of damage. Because there's HP. Uh, the only problem with Wigglytuff is that it doesn't learn a lot of moves through leveling, but hey, it's Wigglytuff. It's pretty good. I'd say Wigglytuff is alright, yeah. Clam Clam! I, I look so cute, yes. Okay, so Pokemon, let's see how much health, how much experience Clam Clam still needs. 569 to level 29, and then one more level, I guess. Oh no! It's a junior trainer! It's a Pikachu! Uh, grab her just to take it out. Legitimately, I have- this trainer isn't actually on the- on Volpedia. I swear I copied down every single one of them, so I don't even know. Oh, there it is, and I just completely miss it. No, nope, it is on Bulkopedia, I just completely missed it. Although there's a... Oh, it's in red and blue only. That's nice. Vice Grip, yeah. Uh... Oh no, this is a different trainer. Oh, it's the same trainer. Oh, it's the same trainer, but she's got two different sets of Pokemon, depending on what game. Clam Clam! Raichu! Raichu's awesome. Except Raichu is not that great, in the long run. It's because you could get Pikachu and friggin' Viridian Forest. I don't know, I'm been paralyzed. I've been paralyzed. Because they, they can't type that whole thing. Thundershock, ooh. Oh! Jeez! Crit. Vice Grip, please save me. Okay, you didn't save me, okay. Snoozu, save me. I'm not healing though, I'm, I'm gonna go straight up to that last train. I'm gonna give, give her a piece of my mind. Okay, crits, why? Crit! It's a crit! Oh my gosh, so many crits! So many crits! Clam Clam didn't level up, okay. WRONG! Anyway, we're back here. I didn't fight that dude! Oh my gosh! So many trainers! This guy's got two. Okay, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with two. I am trust taking out Sparrow with like no health. Uh, Speed Bee, actually, you can do this. Speed Bee! Oh no, I've been leered. Whatever will I do? I love how I got Thundershock just at the end of all of the... Flying... all of the bird trainers. 
There's the other level. Give me a bit of experience. Yeah. Seriously, if I had one more red candy, I'd be like, yep, use it. So how much experience do you still need? I missed that, but I thought I saw 3,000. I did see 3,000. Oh my goodness! Right now, I don't think it'll take him that long to get it, but... Yeah, still. Take out that fit. Yep, this is this is why. That was Thunder Shock. It's not even a strong attack. Completely annihilated the bird keeper. Okay. That's all the trainers. Except for one. Yep. Because I'm pretty sure we got there already. There's one more trainer. This guy doesn't want to fight, right? What, 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 what do you want? Yeah. Okay, ducks, cut this. Now we just walk along in a straight line until we get there. There you go. Thankfully, she only has one Pokemon. Trading Pokemon? Trading is pretty good, too. That's one thing I love about Pokemon in the long run. Like, overall. Is that the idea is kind of unique. You capture what's used against you. So it ends up being a bit more like a collectathon. Or, or a collecting kind of game. But it's still an RPG. And, you know, that makes it kind of simple. But it's still kind of deep. You can affect me, Thundershock! Thundershock! Whoa, I didn't do that much actually. I think Clefairy's got a lot of help. Yeah. Oh no! Don't get guillotined. Bubble! No! My weakness! No! <laughs> oh my god, it's bubble. Double slap. You missed. Okay, well, well of course, pointless crit. <sighs> Last attack. Pointless crit. Has to be. I said trade! So anyway... With that, three parts later, like literally, literally two and a bit hours, we finally cleared out all of that route. Which means, we're doing Cycling Road. We'll spend a part on Cycling Road, we'll check out Future City, and... We might actually head into Safari Zone if we got enough time. So, yeah. Anyway, with that, I guess I'll see you guys next time. See you guys later. Spitting all over everything, yeah.